Ever since the James Webb Telescope was launched, it has been a new dawn in the age of space research. Every day, NASA releases impressive new findings from the $10 billion telescope. We are always on the verge of unveiling something of great consequence to our perception of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, or the Webb Telescope for short, has made groundbreaking revolutions in the short time it has been active in research. Some of which include magnificent images of sweeping galaxies, concrete data on the origin of the universe, and reshaping how we see the world. How vast is space? How big is the universe? The enormity of the universe is currently beyond our grasp. But now we know there are trillions and trillions of galaxies in the observable universe. What do these galaxies hold within themselves? One thing we know for sure is that there are secrets buried deep in the bowels of the universe. Thanks to the technological advancements like the Webb and Hubble telescopes, our horizons are broadened and the revelations of these iconic telescopes allow us to peek through the keyhole of the immense vastness of space and time. Just recently, NASA detected a massive object that arrived from another solar system. The mysterious object was photographed by NASA, and it is unlike any we have ever seen. What could this object be? Could it be a UFO? Could it be planetary remains or an asteroid? Will this object have a massive impact on collision with the Earth? Join us as we unveil the arrival of the mysterious extrasolar object. On the 13th of August 2019, an amateur astronomer, Gennady Borisov, was gazing at the stars through his homemade telescope. This was when he first spotted an unusual moving object in space. This wandering point of light was named 2i Borisov. A distant spiral galaxy could be seen off to the side of the object with the bright blue center of the image, which the Hubble Space Telescope captured as it followed the object through space from outside our solar system. Could this be a comet? Comets are basically ice dust and frozen gas snowballs. They are roughly the size of a small town when completely frozen or inactive. But when heated up by the sun, their ends can stretch for millions of miles. All comets originate in the early material disk surrounding a developing star, preserving traces of the element that went into creating Earth and our other planetary system's distant past. The history of the elements that went into creating the Earth and our other planetary neighbors, including water, is revealed by comets from our own solar neighborhood. Astronomers from all over the world rush to look at the objects with some of the most sophisticated instruments known to man in order to learn as much as possible about the intriguing visitors. Astronomers have discovered that 2i Borisov has an unusual composition. This was due to observations made with the Hubble Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. And the evidence leans heavily on the fact that Borisov is a comet. It contains more carbon monoxide than any comet observed at a relative distance or within about 300 million kilometers of the sun, though other types of stars are possible. There is one theory among scientists that states that 2i Borisov could be a fragment from a small planet rich in carbon monoxide. Scientists also suggest the comet may have formed around a red dwarf. A red dwarf is a smaller, fainter type of star than our Sun. Scientists using ALMA speculate that it might have been a piece of a dwarf planet with a lot of carbon monoxide close to its surface. According to experts, the fragments rich in carbon monoxide could be released into space with another. So the ALMA team notes that 2i Borisov may have simply developed as a comet with a high carbon monoxide content. Alternatively, it might have an exceptionally thick layer outside that protects frozen gases like water and hydrogen cyanide. It may seem more plentiful here than in other cometary gases. As the more flammable carbon monoxide vaporizes, the unique characteristics of Borisov may also point to a greater variety of carbon monoxide in comets than was previously believed in our solar system. Whatever the solution, 2i Borisov throws a whole new set of challenges into the way of cometary research. So this wandering point of light turns out to be the first confirmed comet to visit our solar system. Where could our extrasolar visitor have been traveling from? The image depicts the comet as it travels through our solar system on its way back to winter stellar space, where it once was. Since an interstellar comet is a chemical messenger from a completely different star system, it holds a wealth of information about worlds that are too far away for space travel. 
In October and December of 2019, the comet 2I Borisov was photographed by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. As it sped through our solar system at an incredible 177,000 kilometers per hour, a bright nucleus was visible in the images, but the nucleus itself was too small for Hubble to see. Hubble images taken four months after, in March 2020, revealed a stark change in the comet's appearance, rather than the comet's previously observed single bright core. The images suggested a small portion had cracked away from the nucleus. Scientists will still use Hubble to keep an eye on the comet Borisov, of which the news has spread like wildfire throughout the world following a week of worldwide observations by amateur and expert astronomers alike. Researchers have been able to trace the path of the comet to confirm where exactly the comet has been travelling from. The scientist Bodwitz and his associates used Hubble to observe 2I Borisov between the 11th of December 2019 and 13th of January 2020. Separately, on the 15th and 16th of December 2019, a group of international researchers under the direction of Martin Cordina and Stephanie Millam and NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, observed the comet using the ALMA network of radio telescopes located in northern Chile at the height of 16,570 feet, since the cold, low-energy gas in things like comets can be seen using radio telescopes. Plus, the high carbon monoxide to water ratio indicated that the comet initially came from an icy region that is on par with the Kuiper Belt, which is the region where Pluto, the dwarf planet, is connected to our Sun. The Oort cloud is much farther away, and the Kuiper Belt are two regions in our solar system where most comets have failed. All of these comets probably originated closer to the Sun, but might have been pushed farther from it by the erratic motions of Saturn and Jupiter billions of years ago. Due to the powerful gravitational pull of these massive planets, the comets may have been launched away from the Sun and towards other stars. This is why the Red Dwarf theory sounds just as plausible. Researchers hypothesize that 2I Borisov may have been thrown our way by a giant planet in a Red Dwarf system that existed in a climate with frozen carbon monoxide. Bodwitz believes that if a planet the size of Jupiter moved inward, it would eject many of these comets. The ALMA team agrees that the comet was likely sent on its way by a young moving planet. They claimed that 2I Borisov built its brief encounter with the solar system after a chilly, lonesome journey, at which point it began to emit gases and reveal its interior to us. Borisov is drifting away from our sun pretty quickly already. Soon it will re-enter interstellar space never to come our way again. But the comet's trajectory is being slightly altered due to the comet's path and high velocity. It cannot be captured and pulled into orbit. Unlike our Sun and its family of planets, Borisov was born into a different star system that might be younger or older than our 4.5 billion year old planetary system. Borisov is too small to maintain its own atmosphere because it lacks sufficient mass and as a result gravity. Its radius is not more than 500 meters, but it's not headed for a collision with Earth as its trajectory points out of the solar system. So far, there has only been one other extrasolar visitor apart from 2I Borisov. That is Oumuamua. It was discovered on the 9th of September 2017, zapping past the sun 24 million miles away at 87 kilometers per second. More measurements show that it was slightly accelerating, indicating it acts more like an asteroid, but it was categorized as a comet anyways. It's okay to look out for more extrasolar visitors, as long as they don't collide with the Earth. We wouldn't want a repeat of the massive extinction that killed off the dinosaur 65 million years ago. Thanks for watching this video.